Treyarch just released their first weapon tuning update for Black Ops 6. And within this update, they focused a lot on the assault rifles and the SMGs. So today, I want to show you guys the top five class setups you need to use after the update. If you guys are looking for more Call of Duty Black Ops 6 content, definitely go down below and subscribe to the channel. We're on the road to 2 million subscribers. And go down below and drop a like on the video if you are playing a Black Ops 6 at this very second. So the first weapon we're going to be checking out is the Model L Assault Rifle using the STG Blueprint. Starting out with the muzzle on this weapon, there are two options you can use. You can either run the suppressor to just stay off the radar if you guys want to be a little bit more stealthy, try to streak up a little bit more, and just overall not show up when you fire your weapon. The suppressor is going to be a really good option, but also you can run the compensator, and with this compensator, you get a vertical recoil control increase, and this gun has like no recoil at all. It is a genuine laser, so both of these options are very, very good, and it kind of just depends on what you want to do. If you're a little bit more confident, you don't care about showing up on the radar, use the compensator, but if you want to play a little bit more stealthy, play your life, get on those higher score streaks or kill streaks, then run the suppressor. Next up for the barrel on this weapon, we have the reinforced barrel. This is a really well-rounded barrel compared to all the others. You get a bullet velocity increase, so your bullets are going to be traveling faster. Overall, just increasing the time to kill because your bullets are going to be connecting with the enemy a lot quicker, but then you also get that damage range increase. So this is one of my favorite barrels for sure. The long barrel is pretty good because you just get a damage range incre increase. Uh, the, the gain twist barrel is also another good option, but I like the reinforce because it kind of just combines both the gain twist and the long barrel into just one attachment like this one right here. With the magazine, you gotta throw on the extended mags one. This will just increase the magazine size, I believe from 30 to 40. Obviously, when you have a bigger magazine size, you can take out multiple enemies in front of you without having to worry about, you know, reloading every single second, you know, when you're in a gunfight. With the rear grip, we're actually rocking the commando grip just to have a little bit more ADS speed as well as sprint to fire speed. But there's one attachment that I haven't unlocked yet that I think I'm gonna throw on. So if you haven't unlocked, maybe use it. Uh, the ergonomic grip as well. This will really increase the slide to fire speed, the dive to fire speed, and the ADS speed. So overall, increasing the mobility and handling of this gun. I'm just a few levels away from unlocking it, but this commando grip will definitely, definitely do the job. And finally, for the stock, we have the combat stock. This will increase that flinch resistance as well as aim walking speed, so you can kind of just strafe back and forth faster when you're ADSing. Again, I haven't unlocked it either, but I feel like the balance stock would actually be a really, really good a viable option. You get that strafing movement speed, that movement speed overall, and then that aim walking movement speed. So overall, I feel like the balance stock would be another really viable option for the stock. Overall, man, I absolutely love this STG variant. If you guys want to know how to unlock it, I believe you have to get to Prestige 2. You unlock it pretty early on, but as you guys can see, literally no recoil when it comes down to it. This is the good old STG from, you know, a lot of different Call of Duty games. We saw it in uh, Modern Warfare 3. We saw it in Vanguard, of course. This gun hits like a freaking truck. Also, if you don't like the iron sights, you can easily remove, I don't know, one of the attachments. I wouldn't really recommend removing the compensator or maybe even like the magazine or even the barrel. So maybe, uh, you know, if you want to remove the stock and then throw on the Kepler Microflex, that's a really, really good option and probably my favorite optic. But either way, man, definitely, definitely give this gun a shot. No recoil, very easy to use, and it's the STG. Next up, we're going to be taking a look at the C9, aka the mp5 starting out with the muzzle i am running the suppressor honestly i really like the suppressor when it comes down to the c9 just because with an smg i find myself obviously rushing a lot more getting more into their spawn being a little bit more aggressive and i feel like having a suppressor when you have that aggressive play style really helps out obviously your your bullets are gonna be a little bit more silent but obviously the main thing you're gonna be staying off the radar you're gonna be staying off the mini map so this is a very very good muzzle attachment for the c9 or again you can rock the compensator you can even rock the ported compensator when you uh when you unlock it it's very late though but you can definitely rock the ported compensator as well next up for the barrel once again the reinforced barrel this is one of my favorite attachments because you get that damage range and bullet velocity increase so obviously this is going to make the smgs a lot better and also with the update that we had yesterday in black ops 6 they buffed the smgs pretty much all around in terms of the medium range engagement so a lot of the smgs should be 
be feeling better, whereas they balanced more of the ARs, kind of brought them down a little bit because the ARs were dominating in Black Ops 6 multiplayer. Next up for the magazine, the Extended Mag 1. Of course, this will increase that ammunition size, that magazine size from 30 to 40, taking out a lot more enemies in front of you without having to reload. Next up for the stock, we have the no stock attachment. I love the feeling of the no stock in this game. You get that hip fire movement speed increase, that movement speed increase, as well as the strafing movement speed increase. This will make the mobility and the handling of the gun feel amazing. You are going to be, you know, basically able to run in any type of direction and feel very light on your feet. So I think the no stock attachment is just my favorite. And finally, for the fire mod, we're going to be running the rapid fire mod for this thing, obviously increasing the fire rate. You definitely have a lot of cons with this, though. You lose out on some damage range and, and bullet velocity and, and stuff like that. But overall, I just felt like with the rapid fire mod on the C9, just shooting faster, the TTK really increases. And I genuinely love this a lot. So definitely give this weapon a shot, man. One of my favorite, favorite SMGs to use right now in Black Ops 6. It's feeling a lot better also after the buff, you know, with that medium damage range increase. See, with SMGs, you don't want to, you know, always go for those medium range gunfights. So try to keep it a little bit closer with this C9. But yeah, definitely one of my favorite weapons. Give it a shot. Next up, we're going to be taking a look at one of the most reliable assault rifles you can use right now in the game. And that is, of course, the XM4. Starting out with the optic, we have the Kepler Microflex. This is going to be your very standard red dot sight that you used in plenty of past Call of Duty games. I feel like a lot of the other ones, like the Merlin Mini and the Merlin Reflex and the Redwell Reflex, all of these are really, really bad. I'm going to keep it a uh, stack with you guys. So when you get on Black Ops 6, definitely, definitely unlock the Kepler Microflex. I believe you have to level up another AR, but once you unlock it, you unlock it for literally everything else. Again, since there are only four different options, you're going to be seeing a trend where a lot of the uh, weapons in this game tend to run the same exact attachments, but I like that. I prefer that because it keeps things a little bit more simpler. There's not 50 different attachments, 50 different options, when in reality, we're only using two to three different ones in, in retrospect. So we got the suppressor for this one. Obviously, I like the suppressor just to stay off the radar. You can either do the compensator. You can even do the ported compensator. It's really up to you. If you want a little bit less recoil, if you're struggling to control the gun, throw on the compensator. If you want to stay a little bit more stealthy, throw on the suppressor. Next up for the barrel, I was running the long barrel just to increase that damage range. You're going to improve the long range effectiveness for the XM4, which I really, really like in those longer range engagements. I feel like a lot of these maps in particular for Black Ops 6, they are just AR dominated. And it's kind of crazy. Obviously, the balancing patch that we had yesterday, it kind of tuned the XM4 and a lot of the other ARs to bring them down a little bit, whereas they increased the SMG. So it's a little bit more balanced, even though the AR has got a nerf in this game that it wasn't a crazy nerf to the point where they're not usable anymore they were just more balanced next up of course man for the magazine the extended mags you gotta throw that on and finally for the stock we're running the balance stock here for more strafing movement speed uh, more movement speed more aim walking movement speed it's just to increase the mobility and handling of this assault rifle obviously ars a little bit more slower compared to smgs so this will kind of just increase the mobility of this gun the movement speeds and the ads speeds and everything like that genuinely one of my favorite and most reliable class setups right now on Black Ops 6. If you're just looking for like that standard AR, if you're just looking for something a little bit more reliable that will probably let you do really well in games, streak up. This is the gun you're going to want to use. Next up on our list, we're going to be taking a look at one of my favorite SMGs in the game, and that is the KSV. Once again, man, starting off with the muzzle, we got the suppressor. Stayed off the radar, being a little bit more stealthy. You guys know the deal. For the barrel, I was actually running the long barrel just to increase that damage range. Like I said, the SMGs weren't really feeling the best in this game in terms of that medium range engagement. So I felt like the long barrel was a, probably the perfect attachment to run just to increase the damage a little bit more for these SMGs when they're taking advantage of, you know, by the ARs. Next up for the magazine, of course, man, the extended mag one. For the rear grip, we have the ergonomic grip. I feel like this is one of my favorite attachments in terms of the SMGs. You get that slide to fire, that dive to fire speed, and that ADS increase. You're going to be feeling so light on your feet. You could do a lot of the new Omni move as well with this attachment, so definitely give it a shot. And finally, for the stock, we have the balance stock here. I know the attachment's kind of blocking everything that it increases, but again, strafing movement speed, movement speed, hip fire movement speed.
speed as well as aim walking speed, just increasing the movement speed overall for this SMG. I feel like this weapon has really, really clean iron sights. Of course, kind of reminds me of, you know, the AK-74U and everything like that. When you're using this SMG, it's not going to have the best range compared to like the C9. You definitely want to keep it very, very close and tight with this SMG, but overall, very reliable, super good at close ranges, and it will just delete people. Finally, man, I know I got a lot of snipers who watch the channel, so I wanted to give you guys a class setup for the Frost Line, the first sniper rifle in the game. Starting off with the muzzle, we're going to be running the muzzle brake just to have that first shot recoil control, which is honestly really good because obviously, you know, it's a bolt action sniper rifle, but then you also get that kick reset speed as well. It's just going to make the sniper feel a little bit more stable, a little bit better when you're using it. And of course, this attachment, this class setup specifically, you will need to run the gunfighter wild card because we're running eight attachments on this gun. For the barrel man, slap on that reinforced barrel for that bullet velocity increase as well as that damage range increase. This gun definitely gets some inconsistent hit markers, which is really weird. But in my opinion, it, this thing will hit like a truck. Next up for the stock, we have that precision pad to increase the aiming idle sway. So your gun is just not bobbing and weaving all the time and also just increase the horizontal recoil control. Of course, man, for the magazine, the extended mag one. Next up for the comb, if you guys want a quick scoping setup, if you guys want something that will just drastically improve the aiming speed for this gun, the quick draw riser. Next up for the stock, throw on that heavy stock because of that comb attachment, you lose out on flinch resistance. We're just trying to get that back up because I feel like the snipers in this game get a lot of flinch when you're getting shot at. Next up for the laser, just throw on the stray lock laser for that hip fire to ADS accuracy. This actually helps out quite a bit when you're quick scoping. And finally for the fire mod, the rapid fire mod for that rechambering speed as well as that fire rate increase. Again, this gun gets some like really inconsistent hit markers, but it's still a very, very fast sniper rifle. If you guys just want to dominate, quick scope, go crazy, hit those feeds. This is definitely the sniper rifle class you're gonna want to use. So definitely give it a shot. I want to show you guys this STG class setup in action real quick, because like I said, it's one of my favorite weapons to use right now. As you guys can see, it's disgusting. I don't know what teammates doing, but hold up, hold Oh, might be dead. Oh, thank you. Wow, this guy, Prestige 5 on the other team. Just calm down. All right, just calm down, buddy. Thank you. Wait, thank you. We gotta watch out, we gotta watch out. Yeah, this guy, whoa, does he have dark matter? Oh, oh, these guys are sweaty, okay. I got some hit markers, got him, got him, wow, okay. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. We gotta, we gotta just hold this down for a second, ladies and gentlemen, we gotta hold this down for a second. Teammates, you good? Teammates, you chilling? I see that guy. I kinda wanna get into their spawn if I can. Hold up, let me see. Let me see what the vibes are here. Hold up, guy right there. Okay, perfect. I don't have the right streaks on, which kind of sucks, but it's all good. Because I've been playing so much zombies. Literally, I'll just prestige and go to zombies. Okay, let's let's go down real quick. Hold up. It's definitely a guy up top. Definitely a guy up top. Push up right next to me. Oh, I'm dead. Goodbye. Okay, bro was just literally sitting up there for an hour. Literally an hour. If I can get this chopper, we're chilling. If I can get the, yep, got the chopper. Perfect. Okay, we're turning up. We're doing it. We're doing our thing. We're doing our thing. Um, we're going to jump in. Someone's down below here. Got him. We're like in the garage. We got this man. We got someone down below, I'm pretty sure. Teammates, you good? Lovely. Don't know where to even go right now. Oh, that guy, that guy's up top. This guy's up top. Got that man. Okay, that's fine. Let's push out real quick. Let's go. Okay, we're on a beautiful streak right now, but we might die. Because they're all, they're all after me! This guy wanted me. Look at him. Let's use this. What just happened? I think this guy's middle. Yup, he was middle. Okay, there we go. We're losing B, throw that. Come on. Yeah, we got the Semtex heal. We got the Semtex heal. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, we, we just cannot lose B right now. Because if we lose that middle map control, it's not looking good. That's what I'm saying, bro. Oh, this guy behind the car, man. Literally behind the... Oh, wow, that looked really, really sus. I'm not even gonna front. That, that looked so sus. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Lovely. Such a sweaty game. We're losing B, though. We're losing B. Come on. Oh, we just got him off B. Okay, we gotta... We gotta push for this again. We gotta push for this again. Okay, I'm on B. I'm on B, but... Okay, they got an Archangel up. Got him. Beautiful. 
Let's go. I'm on B. I'm on B. No, teammates! They have trophy systems, which is not fun. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my God. I just absolutely went crazy. We need to get this trophy system out of here. Put this up. Put this up. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, my God. Come on, team. Come on, team. Let's destroy that trophy system. I'm dead. Got to back up. Got to back up. Oh, my God. I'm playing the OBJ right now. I am playing the OBJ right now. Come on. Come on. There we go. There we go. We got another Archangel. Someone's behind us. I think someone's literally sitting behind this car. Got him. Got another watchdog. Oh, my God. Hold up. Little speed boost. Boom. That's what you get. No one's middle. Beautiful. This guy might push up. Beautiful. That guy's there. That guy's up top. Got him. Prestige six to lose. LOL. You know, it was a sweaty game when like my teammates are talking in freaking game chat, like in the text chat, bro. In the text chat. Got him. That's it. And that's the game. Wow. That was a sweaty, sweaty match.